aka Total Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome back to yet another Q&A video. I went ahead and made a post on Instagram asking you guys to ask me questions. Absolutely anything you guys wanted, makeup related, personal, everything is fair game. So I got almost 150 comments so I will not be able to answer all of the questions, but I will go ahead and answer as many as I possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the top here, but I did wanna say I did kind of browse through the questions before and a lot of people asked me questions that I've already answered in previous Q&A videos. So if you guys haven't seen any of my other Q&As, I will link my Q&A playlist down below for you. Hey Sam Shine asks, what are some of your favorite TV shows, movies, and podcasts? So I've talked about my favorite TV shows multiple times. Those would be Friends, Gilmore Girls, Desperate Housewives. I also really love like Vampire Diaries, Rain, Criminal Minds, American Horror Story. I have a lot of kind of spread apart, very widespread TV shows that I love. My favorite movies, I have two. They are 10 Things I Hate About You, which is amazing because Heath Ledger and White Chicks. And then in terms of podcasts, this is something I don't think I've ever really talked about. I am not a huge podcast person, but there are a couple I really like. I really did like Serial, the first season of Serial at least. I also really like, there's an NPR podcast called Invisibilia and it's so, so good. It's about like the invisible things of human nature that we don't really see, but it's like, emotions or feelings and they kind of break it down and see how that kind of transforms human life a little bit. It's really interesting. Mega Banada asks, what is the best transfer proof or kiss proof lipstick that lasts that you can recommend, especially since Valentine's Day is coming up? So there's no lipstick, liquid lipstick that I know that will last through like a whole makeout session or anything. But if you want something that's, you know, like a quick kiss proof or something, the Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipsticks are my personal fave. I mean, those are the most transfer proof ones that I feel like are still relatively comfortable. Jessica L. Malik asks, what are your goals for your YouTube channel, short term or long term? That's actually an interesting question because I was asked this the other day too. And I said, honestly, because YouTube isn't my full-time career, it never has been, and I don't ever really anticipate it ever will be. I don't set specific like milestone goals for myself in terms of subscriber numbers or view count that I have to hit or anything like that. I would say that my biggest goals are just to keep my channel growing, to keep my channel a positive place, to keep it a place that's very informative and where people can kind of come to and just take away their stress of the day. I know that on the whole, talking about makeup and beauty, it seems so superficial, but I've just gotten so many comments from people saying that they've been watching my videos during their hard times in life, if they were going through a divorce or if they were trying to fight a disease or something and it really has helped them just get away from their reality for even 10 to 15 minutes you know twice a week and that really means a lot to me so that's my goal for my youtube channel is just to keep it a positive environment keep it growing keep you guys happy and keep myself happy i just i love youtube and i hope you guys love my channel sarah loman asks what are some of your hobbies slash passions outside of youtube and makeup i would love to know some of the things that you love to do love you lots oh thank you sarah I love Netflix binging. I know it sounds like the laziest hobby of life, but I don't know what else to say. I do love binging Netflix TV. Like, I love going to like play arcade games or like Dave and Buster's. I am a very, very competitive person. So anytime anybody says, are you down for a game night? I am always down and I'm always down to beat someone at some game. And although I don't do a lot of outdoor activities, I do love anything that can kind of pump my adrenaline. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. So like when I went to Hawaii, for example, we did go zip lining. We went jet skiing like I love those kinds of things as well DXN zoo asks if you were to create a makeup product what would it be lipsticks highlighters foundation etc I feel like I would definitely start off with lipsticks because I am the lip product junkie 
in my own opinion and I love lipsticks so yeah I am Paula V underscore asks when you were young what did you want to pursue as a career was it always makeup related so no I did not get into makeup until the end of high school early college so honestly growing up I didn't really know what I wanted to do I had no idea if I wanted to go like the bio medical route or if I wanted to do something like psychology related or start a business or I was just kind of all over the place after I started doing YouTube and started kind of honing in on the skills that I feel like I'm pretty good at and have gotten even better at um, I really started to get a better idea of where I wanted to be and what I wanted to do and that definitely was in the business field I really wanted to kind of do a business be in a business have a business that's really what I wanted to do for the rest of my life Marin underscore Leah asks do you speak any other languages and would you consider doing basic tutorials in that language so I do speak another language I speak Gujarati which is an Indian language however I don't feel like I know it well enough to actually be able to do any type of tutorial basic or not because I would speak Gujarati growing up with my grandparents and we didn't really talk about makeup so I don't really know how to say like contour or highlight or eyeshadow or lipstick I have no idea what these words are in Gujarati so if I were to do a tutorial it would be such broken Gujarati it would probably be more of like a comedic video than an informative video Jaya underscore Jory asks would you like to get married someday and if so describe your dream wedding I definitely want to get married someday I don't see that happening for me for quite a few years probably just because I don't know I feel like I just have so much I want to do before I get married but at the same time you just never know when that's gonna happen I feel like you know people think oh yeah I'm probably not gonna get married till I'm like 30 and then they get married at like 23 which is amazing but my dream wedding would honestly probably be something really simple especially for an Indian wedding I mean being born and raised in America I feel like the weddings that we see on like TV shows and in movies they're like that typical church wedding or like that outdoor wedding where you walk down the aisle and stuff and that's not the way an Indian wedding is so honestly I would probably want to do a little bit of like a combination of both I would still probably want to wear white maybe with some like red accents and then I would still want to like walk down the aisle have my dad walk me down the aisle Indian weddings on the whole are really really big I think it's like it starts at like 600 guests and it goes up to like 3,000 guests I don't even think I know 600 people and I don't even know if I've talked to 3,000 people in my entire life but um, I wouldn't want that big of a thing I would probably say maybe like a hundred or 200 people just my close family my close friends people who really know me and have kind of watched me either grow up or have helped me in my adult life other than that you know We'll see how it goes when it gets closer. I am nowhere close to being married right now. Sue Grias asks, how did you get to be so mature and unapologetically yourself at such a young age? I look at other YouTubers your age and most keep apologizing for even having an opinion. You never do that, not even in your older videos. Love it. Thank you so much. That comment and that question, comment, it really, really means a lot to me. I have always strived to be unapologetically myself. Ever since I was growing up, I never tried to do anything to please anybody. I was never considered a cool kid or a popular kid, and I never cared. I guess to some extent, it's something that was just ingrained in me, but also to some extent, I really just tried to make myself happy and I guess I learned from an early age that as long as I was happy and I was happy with what I was doing as long as I wasn't hurting other people other people really accepted me more and they really responded to that very positively not that I think you can't learn it at a later age but I do feel like it's you know it's a lot easier if you grow up with that mentality and I know that a lot of children don't have that so unfortunately you know a lot of people do have to go through that apologizing stage or that stage where they feel like they have to do anything to fit in or to be popular before kind of 
coming into their their own. I feel like at some point, most people get to that stage where they can just be unapologetically themselves. Not everybody does, but I feel like at some point, people kind of realize it's always better just to be yourself. And people will either like you or they won't, but as long as you are yourself, you're just putting out there all the vibes that you can. I hope that answered the question. That was a little bit of a harder question than I thought it was gonna be going into it. Lorraid20 asks, if you could only have one condiment for the rest of your life, would it be ketchup or mustard? Definitely ketchup, I hate the taste of mustard. Sarah Nicole asks, at what age do you think you will start having kids? I am nowhere close to even being married right now, so I don't know exactly, but I probably wouldn't wanna start having kids until I'm like in my very late 20s, even potentially in my 30s, like early 30s. Annie07 asks, will you be doing a swatch video on the new Maybelline Intimats line? If you are, I can't wait for it. Also, if all your falsies were gone, which brand and type would you repurchase ASAP? Love you so much, Ishani. I love you so much too. So I actually did purchase a couple of the Maybelline Intimats colors. I actually have them in a basket sitting over there on my table. I didn't purchase the whole line because I felt like a lot of the colors were really, really light. So I think I have about five or six of the shades. I will probably end up doing a lip swatch video at some point on those. And then if all of my falsies were gone, whew, that was kind of interesting. If all of my falsies were gone and I had to repurchase, I would definitely repurchase my Esquito Lash Lorettes first and foremost. That is my favorite brand and style. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Hannah Quiggs asks, would you rather lose your ability to speak or have to say everything you're thinking? I would probably rather lose the ability to speak because in my eyes, it's one of those things where if it's not nice, don't say it. And not that I'm sitting around here, you know, judging everybody or just thinking negative thoughts all over the place, but you know, occasionally, of course, you kind of have like a quick Thing that goes on in your head so you know I wouldn't want to have to say all of that out loud because I feel like it could just cause trouble where trouble just doesn't need to be so I would just rather lose the ability to speak personally simple swatches asks how important is it for you to be a representation for your skin color on YouTube it is so important to me because I don't feel like there are enough Indian beauty gurus out there who are making quality content, who are really just catering towards this medium tan complexion. Not to say that there's nobody out there because I know there are plenty of other South Asian beauty gurus doing amazing jobs, but I know that I started making a channel personally, not just because I felt like I had a lot to say or I had my own opinions or I felt like I could, but also because at that time when I started, which was about six to seven years ago, there were no popular YouTubers who had a tan complexion. I definitely kind of zoned in on that niche because I thought, you know, of course makeup is such a personal preference thing, but in terms of colors, like, you know, blush colors, highlight colors, they look so different on someone who has a pale complexion to someone who has a medium complexion, tan complexion, deep, dark complexion. I mean, everything looks so different on everybody's skin tone that I felt like, you know, we need to diversify the pool a little bit. So that's why I ended up starting a channel because I thought it would add a little bit of diversity and it's something that I get comments on all the time, even when I was at IMATS and I met some of you guys, quite a few of you came up and said that you appreciate me doing like my lip swatches and my arm swatches because it gives you an idea of what it could look like on your skin if you are of my skin color. Okay, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. There are a lot of political type questions. We'll just do this one because it's kind of general. New Puran Agol asks thoughts on the current political climate. And then quite a few people ask me my thoughts on the Muslim ban and Trump's travel ban and stuff. I will go ahead and just say this now. I do not support Trump. I do not think that the travel ban to prevent people from coming back home to their families just because they 
are from a Muslim country is fair at all. I am never the person to judge a book by its cover. I'm also never going to be the person to tell someone how to live their life, how to make their life choices. So a lot of what Trump stands for is kind of opposite of just what I think. I guess on the whole, I'm just always on the people's side and I feel like each person has their own life decisions and life choices to make. If you wanna marry another woman or another man, who am I to tell you no? I don't like discussing politics on my channel at all, not because I don't think it's important, but just because I do feel like it's such a touchy-feely subject. And people, especially right now, the country is just so split in half, it's insane. I wish we could say that we are the United States of America, but right now I just feel like we are the separated states of America. That's just my opinion. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I've talked about it more a little bit on my Twitter when the whole election thing happened. But anyways, QVY Fom asks, favorite high school musical song to jam out to? Wow, high school musical has a lot of good songs. Um, I would say it's probably Breaking Free. But your faith it gives me strength, strength to believe. We break it free. NHP asks, you said a while back that something exciting was coming with you, and when I asked if it was a collab, you said something bigger. Can you talk a little more about that? It's coming, girl. It is coming. I've been working on something. It's coming. Red Tulip 2013 asks, if you couldn't live without one skincare product, what would it be and why? That is definitely my philosophy, purity made simple face cleanser. It is my favorite face wash of life. There's underscore A underscore Coutinho asks, favorite Disney slash animated film? I would probably say it's Toy Story. I really, really like Monsters, Inc. too. I love Disney Pixar movies. So good. I would say Toy Story is probably my fave. She also asked, if you could live anywhere else in the world besides California, where would you live? If it wasn't in California, it would probably be London. I know that's like a huge jump. Like, oh, you're moving from California and you're not going to go to like a different city. No, I'm not going to a different city in the US. I'm going to go to London. Sheila110 asked, do you like watching sports? If so, what's your favorite? And then my best friend, a couple comments down, Mira responded, no, she definitely does not watch sports, which is totally true. I do not watch sports. Glitter in the darkness, didn't ask a question, but she said the sweetest comment that I absolutely love. She said, not really a question, Ishani, but I love watching your videos. They always make me smile. Thank you for always giving us honest reviews. Love you. And I love you too. Thank you so much. Amy Helifant asks, how much time do you dedicate to hair slash makeup for work daily versus going out? So for like a normal everyday work type thing, I would say I dedicate about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes on hair and makeup. Going out to makeup, which would honestly be the same thing for me as like filming makeup, like the makeup you see today, which is like everything all did up. I would definitely dedicate about an hour to an hour and a half to like curl my hair and put on my foundation and my lipstick and everything. Tarim.Bukhari asks, winged liner, lipstick, brows, or contour and highlight? One has to go, which do you choose? Probably my contour and highlight because I feel like with winged liner, brows, and lipstick, you pretty much have a full face. I would say contour and highlight can go. Here's another comment I wanted to read because it's such a sweet comment and I wanted to let you guys know that you guys, your positivity and your uplifting inspirational comments really keep me going. So I did want to go ahead and shout, shout out this comment. Francoise.innerbeauty says, I don't really have a question, but because you will be going through this, I wanted to thank you for making amazing videos and being real all the time. I've been subscribed to your channel since about 500 subs, and it has been a pleasure to watch you grow. May you have a nice day. Thank you so much. These are the comments that just keep me happy, keep me motivated, and just 
keep me loving doing this. All right, guys, so those are all of the questions I'm going to answer in today's Q&A. Thank you guys so, so much for submitting your questions. If you wanna be a part of my next Q&A video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because I might do a Snapchat Q&A next time. I hope you guys had fun with this video and were able to get to know me a little bit more, and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I will see you then. Bye.